Hi friends, welcome back. And today I have a Dollar Tree and a 99 cent only haul to share with you guys. It's been forever since I've hit up these two stores. I've been extremely busy with everything, just getting back into the swing of things. Um, I didn't pick up a whole lot from both of the stores, so that's why I'm going to combine the two. So hopefully you guys enjoy what I did find and let's start. I'm going to go ahead and begin with the Dollar Tree because that is everybody's favorite. Um, so the first thing I picked up were these Surefresh. These are the 17 pieces and basically they remind me of like little shower caps. You just, um, put them over different sizes of bowls. They have four smalls, seven mediums, and six larges. So these work pretty good. So I went ahead and grabbed one of those. Then um, I did pick up one of these magnetic dazzlers. This is um, a real wood laser engraved. I thought it was super cute. I do plan on putting this in Happy Mail, so that is why I picked that up. They came out with some new key covers. I'm so excited. I picked up every style last time. This time around, um, the ones that I wanted were these. These are the little llamas. I think they're adorable. They did have narwhals. They had mermaid. And I think they probably had a different one. And I can't remember because it actually wasn't there. I'm assuming there's four different styles. But I went ahead and picked up this one. Super cute. I probably keep one for myself and maybe add one to a happy mail. Then... I needed some flap ties. These are just like the little garbage bags. Um, you get a bonus of 14. Every time I look for garbage bags, I always look for the bonus sizes just so I can get more for the buck. And um, I really don't have issues with their um, garbage bags. I don't stuff them to the max to where they tear. So maybe that could be it. But I have no issues. So I went ahead and picked these up. And my store had the Wet n Wild Step Wonder Gel. Now I'm a huge fan of their Kiss polishes. I do not get their other ones that they normally sell. Um, I think it's what LA Colors brand that they carry there. I don't get that one. I stick to the Kiss. But I did want to try this one. Um, it says no UV light required. And this one is 703A Don't Be a Jelly. And yeah, I wanted to try this um, one out. And if I do like it, then I'll probably pick up the other shades. Hopefully they are still there. But um, actually, let's see how, what the color is. It's a very light pink. And that's how the little brush tip is there. So we shall see. I'm glad I actually went with this one because it was a lighter pink than this one. And um this one's pretty light, so anyways, we'll see how that works. And then I don't need any more stickers, but I did know that to me these looked new for this year, so I went ahead and picked them up. They are like little um, puffy stickers, and then they are a 35 count there, and I thought these were really cute. I'm digging the wolf. Dracula really cute now I think I saw it was phone Jones who hauled some stickers that had that were Halloween themed and I swear they had mermaids on them um didn't find those they had a bunch of other stickers but did not find those then I saw these I thought these were really cute as well and the fact that they have they're outlined with some pink and purple I'm loving the colors with this one loving the lime green so I stuck with the puffy ones. I just thought these would be cuter for um, embellishing projects. And then last but not least, yes, I know guys, it's not a huge haul. There was a few things I was on the hunt for that I have not came across, but I was on the hunt for this particular sign. And um, let me actually get you guys higher. This one says trick or treat, happy haunting, haunted houses, um, jack lanterns, what is that? Foil and trouble? Coil and trouble? I don't know. Toil and trouble. Cub and then cobwebs. The black's a little scuffed up here. A lot of them were right here, so um, I can just fix that probably. But I think the sign itself is really cute. I love the galvanized little pumpkin here. 
and um, but I was looking for some of their in the fall stuff I was looking for some particular stickers that I've seen a couple people haul that I have not found and then their base fillers in the fall themed colors and then I was also looking for um, in their ornaments they had they have like the houses they're all glittered I got a bunch of them last year but I was looking in particular for the web design and I didn't find it they actually didn't have any of the um, type of ornament so but I did go to the smaller Dollar Tree out of the three that I normally go to so that could be it so I'm gonna keep looking but that is what I did find at the Dollar Tree next we are going with 99 this is something I always pick up for the kids it's a quick cool me down it's 20 pops for 99 cents you cannot beat it and the kids love it and when you're craving something sweet this is perfect especially in the heat because we are still in the hundreds where I live so it's definitely been hot um, super excited to find this one this is an eight count the Nutri Grain. you're getting three strawberries three apples and two mixed berries and this was 99 cents for the variety pack again that was a great deal I also picked us the chewy chocolate chip this one is only five bars so probably not the best deal in my opinion but it is good and we needed some extra snacks for lunch as you guys can see <laughs> um, then I went ahead and picked up some disposable latex gloves and it comes in a 10 count or 10 pack so um, I use these for work and yeah pretty much for work I also picked up the 8 to 12 40 count um, coffee filters and these are the cone styles this is what I use um, for my coffee maker and it works great so I just needed to stock up on some more something that actually here's another food item before I forget these you can get pretty much anywhere for 99 cents but again I needed to stock up on some <laughs> snacks for school um, these are the oven baked fudge stripped short fudge striped shortbread these are pretty good too all right so I came across these at the 99 and I thought these were pretty cool they normally don't ever carry felt stickers like this so I knew it was something I didn't have and it's a cat the bat and then the jack-o-lantern so you are getting 24 pieces for a buck I thought I would go ahead and pick those up and then I also picked up two of these um, just because I love the color I think I probably put one into some happy mail and then the other ones I will keep and these are great to clip onto things and say you want to you can share some trims or some beaded necklaces you know that the people can use for trim or stick a tassel on here um i was looking for some they weren't they're not binder rings but they're like little key clips or something i saw someone haul them and i could not find them so i did find these so i thought these were really cute because i love gold they did have these in like a mermaidish iridescent type color i guess i would say or watercolored look but i didn't get those i figured these would be best for my style and then I came across this cool thing. This was $1.99. It's just like this trinket box and it has like a, it's glass. Um, and it has like this gold metal type thing. I don't know, or hinges. I don't know, I just thought it was super cool. It's heavy and I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it in here in my craft room or maybe just use it as a decor piece at the, in the house. Or I can even put jewelry in here or gift jewelry and, you know, give this as a gift as well. So I just thought it was super cute. I didn't want to leave it behind. And all I saw was this color was the gold. Then I saw quite a few people share this on Instagram. And I think Pretty and Flawed shared it on her Halloween 99 cent store walkthrough. And these are... They're candle holders or candle bottles, but they're so cool. They are one wick and they do have a scent to them. They smell really good. 
I just think these are going to be perfect for decor during Halloween. It says distilled vampire venom Bloody Mary's scented candle um, collected in Transylvania for use in various potions and crafts. I think this was just awesome. Such an awesome find. These were $1.99 and um, I was trying to see. It's by Momentum so it is a dollar or 99 cent store brand um, but it does smell really good. I never am disappointed with 99 candles. They just by far beat Dollar Tree. I do pay more. I mean, I'm talking about the candles that are worth more than a dollar. I just never been disappointed. So I'm super excited with this because once this burns, if I decide to burn it, I can still use these jars as Halloween decor. So absolutely love it. And this, I mean, just the sticker. I believe it's a sticker, but it's it's very well made, very well, nicely made. Love it, love it. And then going along with that one, they had a black one that was a little bit different in style. This one is more just circular shape on top. And this one says Wolf's Bane Potion Number 5, slightly bitter potion used to take the edge off your, I don't know what that says, Lacrosopy. And it's, again, it's a scented candle. And they have like the suction, you know. I Let me see if this one smells the same or not. I didn't even smell these. But yeah, they smell pretty, pretty similar. Very strong. Um, like I said, really cool bottles. You can see, I mean, it's just very cool design. Um, yeah, and I paid $1.99. And they're actually $13. Points, what if we can get that to focus 13.75 ounces so I love them I think these are bad and um, anytime I see something different that's Halloween themed I will grab it because um, every year they usually try to come up with the same thing slightly different you know so I don't want to get things that look the same and I know these are different from anything they've came out with so yeah, guys, that is the end of my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of 99 and Dollar Tree combined. Um, if you're new, hit that subscribe button. I love to have you. And I will see you guys on my next video. I hope you guys are doing well and um, getting back into the groove of things, especially for all the ones who've had school start. So, all right, guys, I will talk to you later. Bye.